Alright guys, what's up? My name's A Project from Studio Prime HD. And this is the second episode of Same Old, Same Old, where I'm going to be showing you how to do something that the community seems to be doing quite a lot. And like I said previously, yeah, I'll be showing how to do these things after they've kind of died out a bit. Just because, for the sake of, I don't know, people complaining about me giving stuff away. So I'm going to show you how to make these little box intros that you can see right now. Where we've got the text kind of wiping in and a drawing on the box. And maybe some text dropping out underneath it. And the thing that I see people asking a lot is how to actually make the text so you can't see... Maybe the P kind of expanding outside the box, it all seems to be tucked up inside it. I'm going to show you how you can do that. Alright, so I'll just delete all this. In fact, I'll just create a new project. Whoops, new project. Um, don't want to save this, no. Okay, so I create a new composition. Uh, I'm just going to put 20 seconds, even though you're not going to use that. Just, just means that if we do go a little over, then it's good. So, put it on 1280 by 720 hit OK, and we'll create a new layer first. I'm going to be using a plugin for this, it's a trap code plugin, called 3D Stroke. If you've not got that, just go and get it, so you can torrent it somewhere, I don't really care. So I choose this, um, it can be done without, um, can be done without this plugin, you can just mask a box and then do it that way, but this was a lot quicker, because it's actually a preset square right there. So I'll turn down the thickness, I'm going to put it on about 5.5 like so and then I'm going to find the point where I want my box to be drawn so we'll say about here and we'll put this on 100 and hit the little stopwatch, choose where I want it to finish drawing, we'll say about there and then put it on 0. So now we've nice and easily created that so that's that done. Now we're going to put some text in the middle. This is the bit a lot of people ask about. So create our text. I'm just going to do SP for Studio Prime. Do whatever you want. Um, so just create, make, move, uh, sorry, move along the timeline so we can see the full box. Then you can either do it this way, um, which is a really basic way. Just put the text in the middle. Or you can do the way that I'm going to be showing you. Now if you can do it my way, rotate the text a little bit if you want. Whoops, make sure you don't do that. Actually rotate the text. Um, and we'll just drag it in the middle. Make it... I keep on doing that. Then make it bigger than the box. Not too big, you want to make sure you can actually see what the text is. Um, I'm going to say something like, that looks pretty good. So when you've done that, now we're going to mask it, so I choose the pen tool right there. And now you might want to zoom in for this bit, so I'll just zoom in a little bit. And now we're going to hold shift and click in the left point of the box, then actually choose the bottom one and then just keep going along like this until we meet this one. And now as you can see, we've got everything out from around it. So it's really simple. And we can zoom this back out again. So yeah, this is what we've got. And we're going to want the text to kind of wipe in after the box has been drawn. So to do that, we're just going to click on the text, go on Effect, Transition. And then we'll choose Linear Wipe. And I'm going to just put this over here. Um, just so it comes in from left to right rather than right to left. Um, now you can just add a bit of a feather if you want. Um, it's not really straight. Let's put it on to um, to eighty. Is it? Whoops. No. That looks alright. Okay, so when you've done that, put this on 100, and we'll find the point where we want it to actually start to um, draw on. So we'll say about here, maybe. Um, so we'll just choose a stopwatch on the transition complete, and we'll move to where we want it to be fully drawn, and put it on zero. 
So we've got this. So yeah, so far it's looking pretty nice. Uh, maybe I'm just going to make the um, text wipe on a little bit slower. Maybe just something like that. Okay, so when you've done that, now we're going to make some text drop from underneath it. And to do this, um, first we're going to create a shape layer. And make sure you've got stroke on, um, make sure you've got it so it's ticked off so there is no stroke. By just clicking that and then choose this little option there. And make sure we've got a black fill. Now, what we're going to do is draw somewhere around here so it just goes over the white line not directly over it but you want it to be something like that and then that's going to work as kind of like a little wall so our text can drop down from underneath it and then we're going to drag and drop the shape layer underneath the black solid which is our our um, square that's being drawn and I'm just going to adjust this a tiny bit like that alright so when you've done this uh, we're going to create some text now so I'll just put Studio Prime HD. Um, we'll just make it a bit smaller, like so. And we'll just put that underneath here. Like that. So we've got Studio Prime HD. Okay, now as you can see, if... Hold on. Um, drag and drop the text right to the bottom there. And as you can see, as I move it up, it's actually disappearing because that's because we've got that shape layer there. So that was the point of putting that there. Now what we're going to do is hit on, um, click on the Studio Prime HD layer or your text layer, and hit P on the keyboard for position. Um, if you've not got a keyboard, which is very unlikely, then just hit the little arrow and then go on Transform. Okay, then find the point where we want our text to actually come down. So I'm going to say, as soon as the text, as soon as the text inside the square actually um, is actually complete, then we'll hit position and hold shift, and we'll just drag it up from behind the shape player, and then move forward a bit, and then bring it down. So we've got this. I'll just play it for you. There we go, it's as simple as that. Uh, then you can go to do some more advanced stuff with lighting and whatever. I'm going to show you how you can make a nice little gradient background. And, well, I'm not sure yet because I'm going to be using the optical flares plugin, but I'm just going to go on. Uh, whoops, what am I doing? Okay, it's not letting me create a new layer. Yeah, there we go. Go on layer, solid, blah blah, effect, video copilot, optical flares. If you've got this plugin then you can then you can um, follow all this. And put it on over original. And go on options, clear all. Yes. Don't really use the presets, I never really use the presets, I prefer to make my own. And I'm going to choose this one and hit OK. And now we've got quite a nice little um, background kind of thing going on. Which we can just up the brightness if you want. And as you can see, something's kind of gone wrong. Um, make sure you go on your blending mode and go on Add. And there we go. That's about that that's the tutorial hope you enjoyed please like it um uh, yeah goodbye